Uh, everyone is talking carbon taxes. Everyone is now talking about uh, the surge in energy prices. And uh, it's ironic, of course, for a country like Canada that's blessed with an abundance of energy that we find ourselves in what could be a pretty big energy super cycle. Uh, I had mentioned months ago that we were going to start to see prices move up. It wasn't going to be helped by a federal government that continues to add to the price of fuel. Uh, and while some apologists for the carbon tax say, oh, it's only three cents a litre, it's actually 3.72 if I'm looking at a province like Ontario with 13% uh, HST, 15% would mean almost near four cents a litre for, uh, for gasoline in uh, the Maritimes and about uh, 3.5 in jurisdictions that have GST. But that's not the issue. It's that that equals about 20 cents a litre. 20 cents a litre on an average price of $1.60 is about 12 to 13% inflation. And for the Bank of Canada and other elites in Ottawa to completely ignore that and not say it has an impact on inflation is absolutely bonkers. And uh, anybody who calls himself an economist and doesn't consider that, including the Bank of Canada, uh, ought to be ashamed of themselves because frankly, it's a disservice. Now, the public is also going to be treated to what is uh, extraordinarily high prices for energy. We're already starting to see um, prices moving in some parts of the country to record territory. Let me talk a little bit about that because it's not just gasoline, it's diesel prices that have gone up as well. And we're about to see a surge about an average 15 to 20 cents a litre. So you have a lot of folks out there who get some attention from certain media, Bloomberg or Yahoo, because those individuals will never talk about the uh, negative impact climate policies are having on the cost of living in Canada, much less the cost of energy. But if you look at places like Vancouver, glad to see other people picking up on my predictions that we make here and elsewhere. Uh, we're looking at 215 a litre likely going up five cents a litre between now and next week to 220. That won't be the all time high, but uh, we are going to be looking at a switch over from winter to summer gasoline. So that means the rest of British Columbia can expect a similar four to five cent a litre increase with oil leading the way. Alberta probably staying where it is at about $1.62. That's pretty high. Much of it to do with the fact that the provincial government has restored the entire tax of 14 cents a litre. Uh, the rest of it, of course, because of the Chicago spot market, uh, U.S. Midwest prices are shooting up dramatically. Uh, we are looking at prices of anywhere from 10 to 30 percent higher, whether you're in the Pacific uh, part of the United States or whether you're in the U.S. Midwest. And so that has a lot to do with the price that we're paying uh, in places like Alberta. Saskatchewan, of course, uh, remaining at the $1.58 mark, not moving up much because re retailers are holding on to about a 10 cent retail margin. Same for Winnipeg uh, and Manitoba, $1.43.9. These are all prices we predicted at gas. Uh, wizard.ca and we'll continue to do that in days to come. Ontario has pushed into the $1.65 range, not helped of course by the fact that we had the carbon tax increase and we're still yet to go to the point after April the 16th when we switch from winter to summer gasoline. By all estimates, that means the country can expect at least a seven to eight cent a litre increase net. And that doesn't include what happens with the price of oil, which has surged rather dramatically from you know the high 70s, low 80s just a month ago, uh, the high low 70s uh, at the beginning of the year to where it is today pushing $87 a barrel. And we did mention two weeks ago that oil will be going up about $10 a barrel. It looks like it's already gone up four of that $10. We still have another six to go. That means on top of the gas prices that we're seeing moving up as a consequence, uh, by about eight, 10 cents a litre. They're likely to go up another 15 to 20 by the time the dust settles between the May 2-4 weekend and of course, July 1st. Now I'm getting ahead of myself, Julie. Quebec, of course, is going to see a very similar increase about four to five cents a litre as Ontario will uh, between now and next Friday. We're also going to be looking at the Maritimes, uh, which got a pretty rude awakening. They're a dollar in the dollar 80 to a dollar 83, 84 range. They can look for a net increase of about two cents a litre between now and next week. All in all, anybody who thinks government policies of blocking pipelines, making the Canadian dollar weak, removing the protection that we once had as the petrodollar, and then adding a carbon tax has no consequence on the cost of living is dreaming technicolor. And if you don't see me on certain other media, it's because that media doesn't like the truth about what's driving energy prices. The government of Canada, the Liberal NDP Green Party policy, is what's driving inflation in this country, most specifically energy, and I'll put my 30 years of credibility on the line to demonstrate to anybody just how dangerous these net zero policies are. In a word, Julie, let's put it this way, Canadians concerned about energy, next net zero is where we're gonna be talking, is what we're gonna be talking about over the next couple of months. That's it for this week. 
We'll see you next week.